literally remember at Princeton and he, someone was constantly on about gauge theory because uh, constantly it's like intoxicating mm. how beautiful it is. Okay. Like imagine it's completely inverting the logic of how you want to study the universe, right? Because it's postulating a symmetry to derive a force, mm. right? Mm -hmm. It's saying we can take it as an axiom, the fact that these symmetries exist, yes. and then ask what is the kind of universe mm -hmm. that we would live in if, if these symmetries exist, exist, right? It's almost, dude, it's like, dare I say a little religious <laughs> in some sense. It's, it's, it's insane, right? There's a theorem called Noether's theorem. Okay. which basically codifies this idea. Hermann Weil started working on symmetries in physics. He piggybacked off of Noether to, and he renamed these symmetries something called gauge, gauge. symmetries yep. after like the gauges of um, railroad tracks I and how they're all like, you know, standardized. 